It's um, based off of, I think, V2 OS and is 100% written in 32-bit assembly. So there's two main ways to interact with XOS uh, as a user. You can go to the command line and it's like a typical DOS command line. Or you can load a program in the GUI, so you press enter. Then you have a lot of these .gex files, which are essentially like the executable or like program files in the operating system. So you press enter again and it'll play like this. I don't know if this is like pre-rendered or rendered in real time, but <clears throat> this 3D screensaver thing. Right. And you also got um this photo. This is copyright version 1.0 in 2010. You have this firework animation. And you can also play a game of invaders. You can definitely tell something like this was made in like the early 2010s, but just by the quality of the different uh like media files you have on here. Right. Like this JPEG definitely other than like the 2010 version, you could just tell like this font and the stylization of the photo is very 2010. Um you have this like VGA text test program. You go on the command line, there's more to do, right? So you can list out all the GEX programs in here, which are more to choose from in here. So you have a Pong game. Then uh, this is like a two player, like both players on the keyboard at the same time type of game. I saw a thread on the OS Dev forums and um, I wasn't there because like, I'm not really a part of that community. I don't really interact with um, people on there just because I don't really interact with online communities in general that much, aside from like the own stuff that I make here. But there was a thread, right? That was uh, on, on one of the pages and it was about, um, there was people talking about how operating systems are like working on your own operating system. How over time, especially compared to like the 2000s compared to now, it's gotten so much easier and easier while at the same time actually making a competitive operating system that can actually have, you know, not obviously just not only compete in the, I guess, uh, competitive market, but um, also actually have like practical use in a, in a real dedicated user base or like development uh, community is like next to impossible nowadays. And that's mainly because of like just how much Operating systems over the past few decades have evolved to the point where it's humanly impossible to actually make something that a normal or even like a normal person or software developer can use for anything useful. But even if you can't, like even if your operating system has every driver in the world, you know, support for every single popular piece of consumer or uh, professional or even industrial hardware even has like the most amazing um has like all these different file system implementations like uh, a fast gui like everything's fast efficient and wonderfully designed like there's an the actual problem of having a um like an actual user base or community around it right and people actually using it for um their day-to-day -day activities right because you'd have to convince them that not only is your platform better, but you also have to convince them that um, it's worth the hassle of switching over. Which for the vast majority of people is just, you know, not gonna happen. So a lot of hobby operating systems, especially this one, like you look on the DexOS, cause I have, it has like a wiki and documentation to it, right? But you go on the DexOS website and the creator um, advertises it as a way for like obviously it's for educational purposes but you also advertise it as a way to I guess like a, a good solution for people developing their own software uh, on the platform and um, he put in all these different tools to help people do that right and um, it's just sort of interesting how you know nowadays people who make their own operating systems a lot of the times they're not even that thought isn't even entering their head about you know people or about having like a community of software developers actually working on the platform or um yeah you press escape it calls you a chicken before it clicks out but an actual community of people developing software for the platform 
or people actually uh, caring about how like the user is gonna interact with it or how it's gonna be useful for software developers. Like most people developing their own operating system, they just care about getting things done, if that makes sense. Like just um, sort of just rapid development and implementing all these different features for their own, uh, I guess, taste or their own purposes, right? They're not really concerned about a software development community or anything like that. And you know, that's definitely, you know, that's definitely something that um, I would also say that I've done as well. And that's definitely something that I've done as well, is just like focus on mainly like a operating system as like a creative project instead of some platform that people would want to migrate you would want to migrate their software to or make uh, original software for. But I think that just shows how, I guess, I guess how much more hope there was back in like the 2000s or even 2010s. What is this? Oh, okay. And you can rotate this cube in different directions. It even has like a, oh, it has to like a reset back to its original position before you can rotate it. But yeah, it's just interesting how the, I guess, mindset in OS development has changed over the course of a few years. Well, not, you know, the course of a few decades. Because, you know, there's more uh, resources and help online, you know, more stuff like that than ever to help people get into it. But there's not really, you know, there's not much a single person, even a group of people can do working full time to edge out you know, guys like Windows or, or Linux, right? <clears throat> I'll rip my recording stuff because my headphones dead, sorry about that. Um, one thing I don't like is that if you press enter, um, it, do it doesn't ju it actually process it as a command and it does this weird, uh, it's just kind of uneven, I don't like it, but I just sort of like a nitpick, I guess. What was I saying though? Yeah, I tried using the IDE, which is just for like writing small assembly programs, and um, it just crashed and I couldn't get it to working, so I don't want to do that again. This PlayWave program as well, I don't have any WAV files, so I don't know how to record any on here, so... Um, let's try exploring just in the... Let's see what stuff is over here. Oh yeah, so you have UK, USA, keyboard, German keyboard. So I assume if you type in... So I assume if you type in this, you get a German keyboard. German language keyboard successfully installed. Which is just like a driver for a German keyboard, which I don't have. But so I'm gonna just change back to the USA keyboard. Whoops. Oh, now I have to find the Y again. Because I'm on a German keyboard. Um, just prints out the frames. Which, um, I was running this in QMU earlier. I'm running this in VirtualBox right now. This, on QMU it had like 800 frames, but right now it's just only at 300, so... I mean, that's tough, I guess. But yeah, the, um... Like the original page for this described it as like a console game based UI. There's like screenshots from version uh, 0 0.01, I think. Yeah, this, I, I wish I had this, right? Like, um, I couldn't find this anywhere in the version that was distributed by Archive OS. Or on, uh, maybe it was on his website, but, right. It also said that the operating system had like some networking capabilities, but I couldn't find that either. Exo stat.txt. Okay, so yeah, this is like the built in documentation to the operating system, which is labeled 2005, updated for version 6 by Dex in 2012. This was worked on by like, I think, two different people, or like multiple people. It's because Craig Bamford, I don't know if he's Dex, and I don't know who Solidus 117 is, but I doubt he had like two different aliases for the same guy, right? So we have a table of contents here. 32-bit protected single-tasking. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to mention is that 
The operating system is single tasking, but I believe they said that it's um, that single task, which runs in ring zero as multiple threads. So you can have multiple ten, like multiple different processes running at the same time, but they're really just the same process. But there's just a bunch of different tasks sharing the same process, right? So, and yeah, it's written entirely in assembly, similar traits to MS DOS, and includes VESA graphics adapters. Um, yeah, any damage occurred there's always through your own use. It's, it goes over how to install it, it goes over how to write assembly programs for it in the flat assembler. And um, they even have like a pre-built-in assembly program here for you to use. But um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to show off in this video and just talk about how operating system development has evolved from like, what was it, like 18 or so years since this project was first made to like the past decade or so that it was finished and how um, OS development has evolved since then from something that's a bit more, I guess, creatively inclined or something that's not really trying to compete as much for, um developer market share or anything like that, right? For better or worse, I guess.